coming up on Cardinals Insider. I spent my offseason working working a lot, actually working a lot on my changeup. Alex Reyes is back and stronger than ever. Plus, all aboard. Ride along with the team to Washington, D.C. And later, Homers for Health is celebrating 10 years of changing the lives of children and their families. Welcome to Cardinals Insider. I'm Ozzie Smith. The Redbirds are thrilled to have Alex Reyes on the mound this season. It's been a long road after missing nearly three full seasons early in his career. He made his 2020 debut in August and has proven a difference maker ever since. His revamped slider has made him a dominant late innings option. And for that reason, he's the subject of this week's player profile. Reyes has joined Ryan Franklin, who is seven for seven save opportunities and have 10 or more innings and a zero ERA to start a year. My goal is to stay healthy the complete year and being able to, to pitch whenever my name's called. A swing and a miss, a strike. Reyes went right after him. Two perfect sliders and then the fastball up and in. He struck him out. He's got the desire to do it. He's got the mentality to do it. He's got the weapons, obviously. He's got the demeanor. He's got the competitive spirit. 3-2 pitch. Cold third strike. Reyes and the Cardinals hold on. 5-4 the final. He throws him at the end. Dynamic arm, uh, electric stuff. As he's evolving into this role and and and, and taking it, it's, it's fun to watch. Reyes with the 2-2 pitch. Gregoria swings and misses. That's a Redbird winner. Reyes strikes out two in the ninth inning, picking up save number six, and this ball game has come to an end. Now it's just the learning curve of slowing it down, making quality pitches, which if you look at his body of work, um, the, the multiple innings to finish the game um, against Philadelphia, you look to how he pitched and went about his business against Pittsburgh. Fly ball, back up Williams, and he is there. The Cardinals take game one of the series. Just in control, trusting the stuff. Got, you know, three, four weapons to use. Going at guys in the zone with the, with plus stuff. I spent my offseason working working a lot, actually working a lot on my changeup. Uh, it's a pitch I didn't throw much last year, and I feel like that, that'll be a pitch to help me this year. Swing and a miss. He threw him another breaking ball. Alex Reyes. He got him. Two down. It's a great trait to want the moment and, you know, for example, the other day, I, you know, I told him he was he was down because he'd gone, um, you know, some longer innings and, and gotten up another day and um, said, you know, it'd be a good day to go be down today. And he was like, oh, I don't want to be down. Yeah, I, I feel good. I feel good. I can go. I can get, you know, I can finish it out. I'm like, I appreciate that. And um, so it's the, it's the desire to want to do it. The guy that absolutely wants the moment. And the Cardinals take game one of the doubleheader. Alex is has pitching some big moments in this organization maybe more than people realize based on I know he's missed you know multiple years but prior to that and I recall it because I was managing triple and we sent him up here and uh, pitched out of the bullpen um, very effectively. My outing against San Francisco where I, w I went seven innings uh, shutty and you know we were uh, half a game behind them which it was you know felt like a, a game seven or kind of that feel that postseason feel um, it's just one of my one of my best games out, out there on the map. Obviously, when you look at what's coming out of that hand, is is really elite stuff. And so, obviously, you, you can envision someone having a lot of success in that role. And and for someone that's had the career path he's had, I think everybody's just happy for him. Stay humble and stay focused. You know, um, you know, there, there's always something bright at the end of the tunnel. Never to not think about the past as much as the future. You know, you you, you work towards the next day. The players usually fly from city to city, but earlier this season, they took a train from Philly to DC. Here's an inside look on their fun train ride to the capital city. Right here, 
Straight ahead on Cardinals Insider. We have a special family in town today to celebrate Mother's Day. It's the Molina family. Welcome. Happy Mother's Day. Mama Molina is in the building. Well, Bush Stadium, that is. Also coming up, see how Homers for Health has made a difference in our community. The Molina family celebrated Mother's Day the only way they know how, at the ballpark. Yachty's mother spent her special day cheering on her son at Bush Stadium. Here's what Yachty had to say about his mom in the crowd. Yachty pulls it fair off the sidewall. Is he thinking too? He is. Go on in there, Yachty, sliding in with his second double of the day. His family and mom, they love it. Oh, it's been, it's been a long time. So I'm happy for, for her. I'm happy for me. I'm happy for my, my for my family that they are all here. And I'm, um, uh, we, I mean, I'm glad that we, we got the win. I got that. I got two base seasons for her. And I'm, we see she was happy. I mean, she was happy for that. Hey, fans. We have a special family in town today to celebrate Mother's Day. It's the Molina family. Welcome. Happy Mother's Day. We won't be here without her. I mean, she take care of us. Um, when my dad was working, um, and she loved baseball. I mean, she managed every game. And every time I go home after the game, I say, why do you call that? So, I mean, she knows about baseball. And, and she's, I mean, she's, she, she like it. I mean, so, um, like I said, I mean, she, she's part of, of us. I mean, me, Benji, Chell, um, we grew up with her. I mean, she, she was tough on us, but I mean, it's, she's fun. She's fun to have her around and, and guys that she's here with us. There's a line drive to left base hit for Yadier Molina. Arenado around second. He's going to third and it goes all the way to the wall. Pop Warner is sending him. We're going to have a play at the plate. Wide throw. He's safe. I don't have too many more more years to go, um, probably one or two more, but I mean to have to have her on, on to see my game um, and to be here with us, I mean it's just simple, it's the best. Still to come. Any special date that means something to you, you can get a base or a baseball from that game. Cardinals Authentics is back. See what's new in their collection of game used items. Thanks to contributions from our players and fans, we're celebrating 10 years of Homers for Health. Together, our community is making a huge difference for children and their families at SSM Health Cardinal Glennon's Children's Hospital. Homers for Health is a per home run pledge program that benefits uh, the patients of SSM Health Cardinal Glennon Children's Hospital. Back in 2012, we connected with Matt and Leslie Holiday. They had visited the hospital and wanted to get more involved and more connected. And uh, we came up with this idea of, of Homers for Health. And at its core, the idea is people in the community can pledge a certain dollar amount towards every home run that is going to be hit during a year. Arenado with a drive into left center at the wall. Gone! Four games in a row for Nolan. So over the years, we've had different coaches involved, different people from the Cardinals. After 10 years, um, we've raised over $7.1 million, which obviously is a huge amount of money and has made such a difference uh, in the lives of, of our kids and, and the patients that we serve. Carpenter with a drive into deep right. It's at the wall and it's gone. Every amount counts. And that's what's the great thing about the program. It's truly every dollar amount counts. If you make your quarter pledge and you end up spending 50 bucks for the year uh, in the program, that's going to make a difference. I think people are cognizant of the fact that baseball players get asked to do so many things and pulled in so many direct, different directions and asked to promote so many things. And if they pick something like this, I think it's evident that they truly have a passion and genuineness behind their support and collaboration with a program. The community can support a variety of different causes and sometimes just the added extra little, wow, Matt Holliday is my favorite player or, or Paul DeYoung is my favorite player or, or whoever and they're taking the time to do this, it must be a pretty important thing. So 
Obviously, I get to do something that my favorite baseball team is doing, and then I internally, I'm getting to help kids as well, alongside you know, the Cardinals baseball players. Cardinals Authentics is the only store at the ballpark where you can find game-used items. They also have a wide selection of autographed memorabilia from some of your favorite players, too. Let's take a look at what's new for 2021. We are in the Cardinals Authentic Shop inside Bush Stadium in center field, and here you can find all of the game used and autograph memorabilia that comes straight from the club. We have a wide range of items ranging from Hall of Famers to alumni to the current players that are autographed from photos to baseballs to uh, mini gold gloves and other specialty items. And we suggest that people come here to purchase their autographed items because of the MLB authentication program. Our tagline is from our field to your home. And some of those items include bases and baseballs that you can get from the game that you are actually attending. What makes that special is that you can actually get a ball from your first game, um, from your child's first game, from a bachelor, bachelorette party, any special date that means something to you, you can get a base or a baseball from that game. While we have those things to offer from every single game, we also carry game use jerseys, game use bats, game use helmets, caps, and locker name plates that we exclusively design to hang above the players' lockers. As everybody knows, you have to use the ballpark app to enter the stadium with your ticket. So we've decided to offer a check-in offer for all of our fans. So when you use the ballpark app, you just check in under the Cardinals Authentics tab and you'll get an exclusive offer for a discount that you can use in either one of our locations. And another service that we are offering is in-seat delivery. So you can actually order from the ballpark app, we'll deliver straight to your seat. In just a bit, Congrats on kicking cancer. We're thrilled to have you representing the Cardinals as our honorary Batgirl. Tommy Edmond has a special message for our honorary Batgirl. No place takes you in depth with the Cardinals like our YouTube channel. Get to know the players. Come along for one of a kind experiences and hang out with personalities from across Cardinals nation. Plus, we capture the days and moments that make Cardinals baseball so special. Just search St. Louis Cardinals on YouTube and be sure to subscribe so you never miss a video. St. Louis Cardinals baseball, fly. MLB and the Cardinals select a breast cancer survivor as honorary bad girl each Mother's Day. The honor recognizes the recipient's personal fight against the disease and the commitment to supporting the cause. This year's winner was longtime Cardinal Care volunteer, Mindy Strauss. Oh, press, hold on. Hey Mindy, it's your favorite player, Tommy Edmond. <laughs> I heard you are this year's honorary Batgirl and I wanted to congratulate you for beating breast cancer. I understand that last year was rough for you, but I'm glad to know you're doing better and getting your strength back. Aww. You've given so much of your time over the last 20 years as a Cardinals Care volunteer to the team, and we can't wait to see you around the stadium again soon. Congrats on kicking cancer. We're thrilled to have you representing the Cardinals as our honorary Batgirl. Aww, that's very cool. This is Mindy Strauss a longtime Cardinals Care volunteer and our 2021 Honorary Batgirl, a recognition given for her commitment to fighting breast cancer. Where I am in my journey now, I would, I would call myself a survivor. In late 2019, Mindy was diagnosed with breast cancer. It would take 20 weeks of chemo and eventually a double mastectomy and reconstruction surgery, but she was able to ring the bell, signaling a successful response to her treatment. Now being almost a year since I finished chemo, which I can't believe it's been almost a year already, I just, I just really feel, you know, that word that you say survivor, I really feel like I made it through. It was an awful year. I mean, COVID was bad. That's the only thing that kept me home. So <laughs> bad and not feeling great, but it was, yeah, it was a tough journey and it, I can now say that I'm starting to feel like myself again. And it's no surprise that Mindy is using her journey as an opportunity to give back. 
for the Cardinals to recognize me as the honorary Batgirl is just, it's incredible. It's an extreme honor for me. It, it's, I never would have thought about it because I've been through this journey and I hit a point where I feel like I can tell my story and help other people. I'm helping as a peer supporter for someone who's going through breast cancer now, the same kind that I had. And it, it makes me feel really good to be able to give back. So to be recognized by Major League Baseball and the Cardinals um, as an honorary back girl is just, it's, it, I just can't put it into words. It's just amazing. For Cardinals Insider, I'm Lindsay Weber. This year, we're honoring Mike Shannon all season long. His contributions in the radio booth have been unforgettable. We've been reliving some of those moments here on Cardinals Insider. But we're going to start working in messages from some of Mike's famous friends, too. And we begin with a message from the skipper. Mike Shannon, congratulations on 50 amazing years of being a broadcaster for the St. Louis Cardinals. You're an icon in the Cardinal Nation. You're a dear friend of mine, and I wish you all the best, and let's have a memorable season in 2021 for your 50th years as a Cardinal broadcaster. And still to come, you ask, I answer. It's Ask Ozzy after the break. Cardinals Insider is a team effort, and that includes you. We'd love to hear from you. To get in touch with the show, head on over to cardinals.com insider and click on the Contact Us tab. And while you're there, you can rewatch old episodes and check out our podcast, too. Welcome to another season of Cardinals Insider. I'm Ozzy Smith. It's all at cardinals.com slash insider. It's time for this week's Ask Ozzy. Mason in Columbus, Illinois wants to know, what is the difference about the Cardinals organization that keeps decades of alumni coming back? Well, it's about the people, and the organization has always treasured the importance of the players giving back to the community, and I think it's a, it's a love fest that goes back and forth, and that's why you see so many guys staying a part of a community once they get here. We talk about everything. We talk about everything from golf to baseball and the state of baseball and what's going on in the world. It's not easy to go out there and and, and play at a high level all the time. And I think the guys that end up wearing the red jackets are guys that play at a different level, and it's an honor to be a part of it. I think that for the guys that end up making it, we knew that it was just a matter of time, and it was an honor to not only play with some of them, but to watch the guys perform day in and day out. Thanks for the question, Mason. If you want to submit a question, head to cardinals.com insider and click the Ask Ozzy tab. There's more still to come here on Cardinals Insider, so don't go anywhere. Just like that, stay fair. Down the right field line, gone! Off the foul pole, a mammoth blast off the bat of Carpenter. Let it rip on three and one. Fans want to give him a curtain call. It's at the wall, and it's gone! Pinch hit, three run bomb, Carpenter. Three, one, St. Louis. Cardinals great Keith Hernandez is joining me in the team's Hall of Fame this August. He was announced as a 2021 inductee before a game at Bush. Here's an exclusive interview played on the scoreboard that day. Take a look. I'm Brian Finch, historian for the Cardinals Hall of Fame and Museum, and it's my privilege to welcome the 47th member to the St. Louis Cardinals Hall of Fame, Keith Hernandez. Congratulations, Keith. I understand you just received a phone call from Cardinals chairman Bill DeWitt Jr. I did. I was uh, on the way uh, to the ballpark and actually I was just pulling in. I'm sorry. So uh, 
The phone rang. I, had, I do not have his phone number. So it was a 314 area code. And I said, I better pick it up. It's probably someone I know. And uh, lo and behold, it was Bill. And he informed me uh, and graciously informed me that I had been inducted in the Hall of Fame and how happy he was uh, for me and as well as for the organization to have me in the Hall of Fame. And then um, uh, we talked around 15 minutes and usually the last eight minutes or 10 minutes of the conversation was about the current season, how the Cardinals were doing in the month of April, which just ended. and how the Mets were doing in our in our in our our Eastern Division, and just talked baseball. But uh, it was just a very nice uh, conversation. He's such a he's such a gentleman and a welcoming call, and I was uh, very much caught off guard and surprised. Now you will receive your very own Cardinals Hall of Fame red jacket. What does this honor mean to you? Well, I was weaned on Cardinal baseball. It just couldn't be a better script. I mean, it's just like a pinch myself. It's, but it was a lot of hard work, a lot of ups and downs. But boy, boy, I, I just feel so blessed. The fans have spoken. We look forward to celebrating you on Induction Day with Tom Herr, John Tudor, and Bill White on Saturday, August 21st. Keith Hernandez, the newest member of the Cardinals Hall of Fame, presented by Edward Jones. That's it for today. You can watch this station each week or catch full episodes on YouTube. Plus, we're always online at cardinals.com insider. Until next time, I'm Ozzie Smith, and we'll see you next week.